we celebrate Beethoven's 250th birthday not only with performances of all nine of his symphonies, but also of all five of the piano concerti, both here at our home at Verizon Hall and at the Academy of Music. It all happens during a three-week period. It's amazing. Yes, I mean, uh, for me and for all of us in the orchestra, to go back to the Academy means still be connected with our great history and having two homes, basically our home here, but also the old home of the orchestra, is a little bit about what I think about Beethoven, which is really honoring the past, but also making it relevant in the present and for the future. And in that sense, the combination of the three pianists we have uh, says it all, because we have two of the three who are old friends of the orchestra, dear, dear friends, their family, actually, uh, Emmanuel Axe and Yefim Bronfman, been playing with the orchestra for many years and with me as well. One we call Fima and one we call Manny, so that shows how close we are. And a newer generation one, which is Daniel Trifonov, with whom we, we write history now by recording some concertos with Deutsche Grammophon, Rachmaninoff concertos. But now he's going to play Beethoven. And I will share the podium also with a newcomer on our podium, Karina Kanellakis. So this is a, all around, I think, a very important event of our season. Some people may not know that you're also an extraordinary pianist. When you're on the podium working with these great pianists, how does your um, history uh, and present as a performing musician that makes a sound um, yeah. influence your approach to these pieces? It's a, it's a nice question because, of course, I, uh, I love doing vocal music, concertos with violins and cellos. As a matter of fact, we also in the season have uh, Gil Shaham playing the violin concerto by Beethoven. So here's another Beethoven piece featured. But when I accompany piano concertos, of course, my love for the repertoire, my love for the sheer sound of the instrument makes it uh, even closer to my heart. And this is why uh, it's always a joy to have the greatest pianist on the planet coming to play with us.